My name is Graham Brooks. I'm a director of a company called PG Economics, which is based in the UK. We have just completed um, a global review of the economic and the environmental impact of biotech crops as it enters the 10th planting season. We were surprised at the magnitude of the benefits, both economic and environmental, especially the environmental benefits in terms of pesticide reduction and reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. In terms of the pesticide usage changes, since 1996 there's been 172 million kilograms less pesticide active ingredient put on biotech crops. That is a 6% reduction in the usage across the four main crops. If you move on now to greenhouse gas emissions, in 2004 the amount of carbon not released into the atmosphere associated with the use of biotech crops was 10 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide. Now that is equivalent to the amount of carbon dioxide released by 20% of the cars on the roads in the United Kingdom. So in other words, it's the equivalent of taking 20% of the UK cars off the road for a year. And this latter environmental benefit is associated with the technology facilitating and allowing farmers to switch their production system from a plough based system to a system where they don't plough. It's called no or reduced tillage. On the economic side, the study also identified very significant economic benefits at the farm level. Since 1996, global farm income has increased by 28 billion US dollars worth of extra income. In 2004, it was about between six and seven billion. So it's a very significant increase in farm income. Now that, that increase in farm income has been spread across all the countries that have used the technology, both in the developed world and in developing countries. The key points that I take from the analysis is that the technology has delivered very significant economic and environmental benefits. If you look at the adoption of biotech crops, there's been a fairly substantial upward curve in the area planted to the crops. The primary reason for that is very simple. It's because the economic benefits that farmers get from the technology are so significant that once they've tried the technology, they will use it again, they will tell their friends, their peers, more farmers will use the technology. And that means that that level of economic and environmental benefits are going to increase incrementally and further in each year going into the future. So I think the important message is the economic and the environmental benefits associated with the technology can only get greater.